genius people who beat the system. Up until 2019, women were not allowed to attend soccer matches in Iran. But in 2018, these five girls successfully snuck into a championship soccer game disguised as men. Some schools don't allow guys and girls to be in their dorm rooms together. But this couple came up with a very creative solution to still hang out and watch movies together. A mayor in Brazil prohibited bar owners from setting tables on the sidewalk. So the bar owners came up with an amazing solution that honestly looks pretty dangerous but also fun. This man from Turkey was banned from his favorite soccer team stadium for a year, but he didn't let that stop him from missing an important game. He rented a crane and raised himself high enough so he could see the game, and he even led the crowd in a chant. Genius People Who Beat The System Part 2 A class of students were required to pick a Marvel character and then write a resume and cover letter pretending to be them. A student thought of the perfect idea and picked Groot, and since all he says is, I am Groot, that's what he put for everything. A girl's mom locked her phone in the bottom drawer because she misbehaved. But her daughter realized that all she had to do was take out the top drawer and she could get her phone back. A girl's dad went to Vegas for 5 days and put a camera in the living room to make sure she didn't have any parties. But the girl wasn't going to let that stop her, so she came up with this pretty creative solution. This parking spot says only green vehicles can park there, but I think the owner of this car took it a little too serious. This kid was playing a game on his Xbox when his mom told him to go play outside, so he literally grabbed his Xbox and played outside. Genius People Who Beat The System Part 3 A girl's college had a rule that said you can't have carved pumpkins in your dorm room. But the rule didn't say anything about pineapples, so she went ahead and carved one of those. This guy's new job required a photo of him in a suit for their website. But since he doesn't own a suit, he just photoshopped his face over this guy's face, and honestly, it looks pretty real. This sign says no bicycle riding, rollerblading, roller skating, skateboarding, or scooter riding, but it doesn't say no unicycling. These signs say that if you park on this side, you have to pay for parking, and if you park on the other side, you will get towed. So, this guy parked in between both of the signs, so he doesn't have to do either. That's pure genius. A guy posted this photo online and said whenever he parks illegally, he puts a fake ticket on his windshield so the cops won't give him a real one. That's pretty creative. Genius People Who Beat The System Part 4 This student was only allowed to have a one-page cheat sheet, so they wrote a whole page of notes in blue pen and another page in red pen. They then brought 3D glasses to class, so when they look through the blue side, they can see the red pen, and when they look through the red side, they can see the blue pen. A couple's landlord said that they couldn't paint the walls in their apartment, so they got hundreds of paint strips and covered the walls with them. A teacher wouldn't allow students to eat in class, so a kid filled his empty lip balm with cheese so he could sneak it in. This kid was asked to name the country that owns Greenland. Hint, it's not Greenland. So he answered, not Greenland, and the teacher actually marked it right. This kid's mom told him that food wasn't allowed in the living room, and his tablet wasn't allowed in the kitchen, so it's safe to say that he beat the system. Genius People Who Beat The System Part 5 a girl's phone was about to die, so she yelled to her mom who was upstairs to bring her down a charger. But her mom didn't want to get up, so she simply tied the charger around the dog who was upstairs with her and told her daughter to call him down. This Twitter user and her partner faked a proposal so they could get a free dessert at a restaurant, and it completely worked. Kimberly Oakley left a note on her son Jason's recently washed shirt asking, Can you hang this out please? But the note didn't specify what this referred to, so he took her word seriously and literally hung out the note and sent her this picture. Kayla Smith spotted her stolen bike for sale online. She called the police, but they told her they couldn't handle her case that day. So she called the thief and said she was interested in buying the bike. They met at McDonald's and she immediately knew it was hers, so she asked to try it out and he agreed and she never came back. Genius People Who Beat The System Part 6 First, this TikToker lives in LA and there was a movie being shot right by his house, so he decided to sneak onto the set. He made his way right in and explored the set before stopping to get tons of amazing free food. Next, a kid was playing GTA 5 when he decided he wanted to take a nice relaxing bath. But he still wanted to continue playing, so he FaceTimed his PlayStation so he could still play while in the bath. Next, a man from China bought a first-class plane ticket which came with access to a VIP lounge that had free food. He rescheduled his flight over 300 times in a year so he could enjoy over 300 free meals. After finally getting caught, he cancelled his ticket and still got a full refund. Next, a girl woke up and decided she really didn't want to go to work. So she turned on her flat iron to high heat and put a thermometer up to it and sent her boss this text to avoid having to go to work. Genius People Who Beat The System Part 7 
David Spurge wanted to meet the band Peking Duck, so he changed the band's Wikipedia page to list himself as family to the band. He then flashed the updated page to security at one of the band's concerts and they actually let him in backstage. Once there, he met the band and told them how he got backstage and they were so impressed they called him a legend on social media. Alex Diamond wanted to drink at the Electric Zoo Festival but didn't want to pay for the super expensive drinks at the event. So three weeks before the event, he went to the site of the festival grounds and buried a water bottle filled with vodka. He marked it on Google Maps so on the day of the festival he could easily find and dig up his booze. When Reddit user AFCJL12 needed a ride home from the club, instead of paying for a taxi, he would walk to a nearby late night takeout place. From there he would order food to be delivered to his house and he would hitch a ride with the delivery driver which was still cheaper than getting a taxi. Genius People Who Beat The System Part 8 This super nice guy came out of nowhere and started paying for a TikToker's parking meter using a quarter taped to a stick. That's pure genius. This TikToker's dad created a whole fleet of lawnmowers so he could work smarter and not harder. And honestly, I think he's onto something. YouTuber Troy Kine proved to the world that you can get in anywhere as long as you have a ladder. Just by using a ladder, him and his friend were able to get into a train station, a movie theater, a boat cruise, a work site, and many more places. Reeling in fish from 200 feet down can really be tiring on your wrists, but not for this guy. Using a modified drill attachment, he was easily able to catch two fish without doing any of the work. Genius People Who Beat The System Part 9 Neil Pascoa received an 89.41% grade, but instead of asking his teacher to bump his grade up, he asked her to drop his grade a couple percent so his parents wouldn't see how close he was to an A and would give him less hassle. But Neil's reverse psychology worked as his teacher instead bumped his grade up to a 90.11%. We all know that the games at the fair are rigged, well this TikToker decided to play by their rules. While the employee wasn't looking, he hopped over the counter and put the ring on the bottle himself and they ended up winning this prize that was so big it wouldn't fit in their car. This Reddit user found a way to beat the chaos of Black Friday. A day before the sale launched, he'd go to Best Buy and pick out the items he wanted. He would then hide them in the washer and dryer machines in the store, and when Black Friday rolled around, he would simply walk into Best Buy and retrieve his discounted items. Genius People Who Beat The System Part 10 this TikToker was at her kid's baseball game where there were rules that wouldn't allow parents to have alcohol. So she got these sleeves who easily just slip onto cans that hides what the actual drink is. That's thinking outside the box. You're not allowed to write anything negative in your senior quotes. So Amber wrote The Office, Season 7, Episode 19, Minute 445. And if you go to that moment in the show, it says this. Should have burned this place down when I had a chance. A couple were at the arcade and really wanted to win the arcade jackpot by landing on the 1000 tickets reward. But they didn't want to waste a ton of money trying to do it legitimately so instead they just lifted the glass and made it land on the jackpot. Genius People Who Beat The System Part 11 Lucky wanted to diss her bad teachers so in her senior quote she put to all the teachers that never taught me a thing and put a timestamp from Stranger Things that says this. Son of a bitch, you know you're really no help at all. A guy was playing video games when his girlfriend asked him to watch the cake that she was baking as she didn't want it to burn. But he didn't want to just sit there and watch the cake, so he facetimed the cake so he could continue playing video games upstairs. Nikola Lulik was a third class passenger aboard the Titanic. But when disaster struck, third class passengers were a low priority so Nikola found a sailor's cap and used it as a disguise to secure a spot on a lifeboat. And he went on to live another 50 years.